Welcome to ASFOB Tutoring. In this video we will go over 20 general science questions for the ASFOB test. To study more, download the ASFOB Prep 2024 from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Question 1. Which mechanical process enables this pen to work? A. Capillary action. B. Gravitational force. C. Centrifugal force. D. Vacuum pressure. The answer is A. A fountain pen operates through capillary action, where ink is drawn from the reservoir to the nib without external force. This process relies on the adhesion of ink to the pen's internal surfaces and the cohesion of ink molecules. Gravitational force, centrifugal force, and vacuum pressure are not responsible for the ink flow in a fountain pen. Question 2. Which of the following is a non-renewable resource? A. Wood. B. Wind power. C. Copper. D. Biomass. The answer is C. Copper is a non-renewable resource, meaning it cannot be replenished naturally within a human timescale. Wood and biomass are renewable because they can regrow or be produced again. Wind power is also renewable as it relies on naturally occurring wind. Non-renewable resources like copper are finite and deplete over time. Question 3. If two cars are moving at different speeds, the faster moving car will be harder to stop because of a. Momentum b. Gravity c. Deceleration d. Volume The answer is a. The faster moving car is harder to stop due to its greater momentum, which is the product of its mass and velocity. Momentum determines how much force is needed to bring the car to a stop. Question 4. When either the source of the sound waves, the listener, or both are moving, the frequency of the sound changes. This is called a. Doppler effect b. Polarization c. Interference d. Resonance The answer is a. The Doppler effect occurs when the frequency of sound waves changes due to the relative motion between the source of the sound and the listener. If they are moving closer together, the frequency increases, and if they are moving apart, the frequency decreases. Polarization, interference, and resonance do not describe this phenomenon. Question 5. Complete the sentence. When an object vibrates, disturbing the medium around it. A. An electromagnetic wave is produced. B. A sound wave is produced. C. A transverse wave is produced. D. None of the above. The answer is B. When an object vibrates, it disturbs the medium around it, causing a sound wave to be produced. Sound waves are mechanical waves that travel through a medium, such as air, water, or solid materials, due to the vibrations of the object. Electromagnetic waves and transverse waves do not specifically describe the process of sound production through vibrations in a medium. Question 6. A force that opposes the relative motion of two bodies in contact is called a. Tension b. Resistance c. Normal reaction d. Friction The answer is d. Friction is the force that opposes the relative motion of two bodies in contact. It acts parallel to the surfaces in contact and resists their sliding against each other. Tension is a pulling force in a string or rope, resistance refers to opposition in electrical circuits, and normal reaction is the perpendicular force exerted by a surface on an object in contact with it. Therefore, friction is the correct answer. Question 7. A hot stove element or flame might be seen as waves of heat because the background there seems to be distorted or out of focus. This is an illustration of a. Diffraction b. Refraction c. Reflection d. Convergence The answer is b. Refraction occurs when heat from a hot stove element or flame causes the air to change temperature and density, bending light waves and creating a distorted or out-of-focus background. This bending of light waves makes the heat visible as waves. Diffraction, reflection, and convergence do not describe this phenomenon, making refraction the correct answer. 
Question 8. An open beaker of water is heated from 30 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. Which of the following statements about this change is false? A. The molecules of water have an increased amount of energy. B. The water molecules break apart, forming oxygen and hydrogen gas. C. The molecules of water are moving past each other more rapidly. D. Some of the liquid water escapes as water vapor. The answer is B. When water is heated from 30 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius, the molecules gain energy, move more rapidly, and some evaporate as vapor. However, the water molecules do not break apart into hydrogen and oxygen gas at these temperatures, such decomposition requires much higher energy. Therefore, the statement about water molecules breaking apart is false. Question 9. Complete the sentence. Neutrons are A. Positive B. Negative C. Chargeless D. None of the above The answer is C. Neutrons are chargeless, meaning they have no electrical charge. They are neutral particles found in the nucleus of an atom alongside positively charged protons. This lack of charge distinguishes neutrons from protons, which are positive, and electrons, which are negative. Therefore, the correct answer is that neutrons are chargeless. Question 10. Which electromagnetic spectrum has the highest frequency? A. X-ray. B. UV. C. Gamma ray. D. IR. The answer is C. Gamma rays have the highest frequency in the electromagnetic spectrum, surpassing X-rays, UV rays, and IR rays. Higher frequency corresponds to higher energy, making gamma rays the most energetic form of electromagnetic radiation. This high energy level allows them to penetrate materials more effectively than other types of radiation, thus making gamma rays the correct answer. Question 11. A light bulb consumes 90 kJ of energy in an hour. What is the power in watts? A. 25. B. 30. C. 35. D. 40. The answer is A. The power is equal to energy divided by time. Therefore, the power is 25 watts. Question 12. A force of 25 newtons was applied to a ball, causing it to move 20 meters. Assuming no frictional force is present, what is the work done by the ball? A. 250 joules. B. 500 joules. C. 750 joules. D. 1000 joules. The answer is B. Work done is equal to force times distance moved. Therefore, the work done is 500 joules. Question 13. A car is traveling at a speed of 25 meters per second. The mass of the car is 1200 kilograms. What is the momentum? A. 15,000 kg meter per second. B. 30,000 kg meter per second. C. 60,000 kg meter per second. D. 90,000 kg meter per second. The answer is B. The momentum is equal to the mass times the velocity. The momentum is 30,000 kg meter per second. Question 14. The value of the acceleration due to gravity is. A. 9.81 meters per second. B. 9.81 square seconds per meter. C. 9.81 square meter per second. D. 9.81 meters per square second. The answer is D. The correct value for acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per square second. This indicates that an object's velocity increases by 9.81 meters per second for each second of free fall. Question 15. A runner weighing 70 kilograms is running at a speed of 5 meters per second. What is his kinetic energy? A. 500 joules. B. 875 joules. C. 981 joules. D. 1250 joules. The answer is B. To find the kinetic energy of the runner, use the formula, kinetic energy is equal to half of mass times velocity squared. 
With a mass of 70 kg and speed of 5 m per second, the runner's kinetic energy is 875 joules. Question 16. How many neutrons are there in an atom with an atomic number of 37 and a mass number of 85? A. 45. B. 46. C. 47. D. 48. The answer is D. To find the number of neutrons in an atom, subtract the atomic number from the mass number. With an atomic number of 37 and a mass number of 85, the calculation is 85 minus 37 is equal to 48. Therefore, the atom has 48 neutrons. Question 17. Complete the sentence. When a liquid becomes a gas. A. There is no movement of molecules. B. The molecules move farther apart. C. The molecules move closer together. D. The movement of molecules is unchanged. The answer is B. When a liquid becomes a gas, the molecules move farther apart due to increased energy and temperature. This separation occurs because the molecules overcome intermolecular forces and spread out in the gaseous state. Options A, C, and D do not accurately describe the changes in molecular movement during this phase transition. Question 18. Sound waves travel faster in A. Air B. Steel. C. Water. D. Empty space. The answer is B. Sound waves travel fastest in steel due to its dense molecular structure and strong intermolecular forces, which facilitate rapid transmission of vibrations. In air, water, and empty space, sound travels slower because the medium's density and molecular interactions are less effective at transferring sound waves. Sound cannot travel in empty space as it requires a medium. Question 19. If you weighed 182 pounds on Earth, you would weigh A. Less on Jupiter B. More on Mars C. Less on Neptune D. Less on the Moon The answer is D. If you weighed 182 pounds on Earth, you would weigh less on the Moon due to its lower gravitational pull. The moon's gravity is about one-sixth that of Earth's, resulting in a lower weight. On Jupiter, Mars, and Neptune, you would weigh more than on Earth because their gravities are stronger. Question 20. At what temperature does pure water boil? A. 80 degrees Celsius. B. 96 degrees Celsius. C. 100 degrees Celsius. D. 200 degrees Celsius. The answer is C, pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius under standard atmospheric pressure. At this temperature, water molecules have enough energy to overcome intermolecular forces and transition from liquid to gas. Boiling points can vary with altitude and pressure, but 100 degrees Celsius is the standard boiling point at sea level. Options A, B, and D are incorrect. To study more, Download the ASFOB Prep 2024 from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.